Whenever you see an old photograph of a general store or a country store, the odds are pretty good that you're going to see one of these clocks hanging on the wall. And for that reason, we now refer to them as store regulators. Then we here's that old name again, regulator. Clearly, this is not a real one. No mercury pendulum, spring-driven. Uh, what else did we talk about? Uh, well, actually, this is just a timepiece, so it might qualify on that, on that basis. But clearly not a real regulator, but we won't beat that horse to death any more than we are, than we have already. So store regulators, usually in oak, here we have this pressed-in pattern again, like we saw in gingerbread clocks, so that uh, we were able to fancy this up. This one certainly would have had a top crest, which is missing. Often the bottom crests are missing, too. So it's be alert to that this clock is incomplete, really, the way it looks now. And if you're shopping for one uh, and you want to get one that's right, it should have a top crest as well. This does point out the calendar function that I talked about previously with school clocks, where here's our dial from 1 to 31, uh, and this red pointer goes around uh, in the month, jumps ahead one, one, uh, one date, every 24 hours. This is not a smart calendar or a perpetual calendar. We'll talk more about calendar clocks later. So in this case, this clock doesn't know the short months. So when it becomes, uh, uh, when it becomes the first of the month on a 30-day month, you've got to reach in and bump it ahead manually. No one seems to object to that.